Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Art YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about local anesthesia solutions that we are used in daily dental procedures. But before I start, please subscribe our YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you so much. Let's start this presentation. In first slide, I'm going to explain about uses of local anesthesia when we need this type of anesthesia and these solutions. First uses diagnostic to isolate a source of pain. Second uses is therapeutic to reduce or abolish the pain of pathological condition. The third one is perioperative to achieve comfort during operative procedures. And fourth one is post-operative to reduce post-operative pain. Now about composition of local anesthetic solutions, what they have inside, which composition is exist and available inside the local anesthetic solutions. First group, which is called vasoconstrictor. They are helping to us to retard absorption, reduce systemic toxicity and prolong duration of action. The second one is antioxidant to retard oxidation of epinephrine. And third composition is sodium hydroxide to adjust the pH between 6 and 7. And the fourth one is methyl paraben and fifth one is propyl paraben. They are preservatives added to multi-dose parenteral solutions. Now let's check about indications of local anesthesia injection. In any surgical procedures that can be anticipated to be painful for patients. For example, in case of teeth extraction, apicoectomy, gingivectomy, periodontal surgery, palpectomy and palpotomy, alveoloplasty also, bone grafting, and also in implants procedures. Now let's check about contraindications of them. In case of contraindications, there is two divisions, systemic one and local. In systemic contraindication, for example, in case of uncooperative patients like child, for example, in case of pediatric patients, uncontrolled hemorrhagic patients, allergic patients to local anesthesia, and in case of local contraindications, Patients receive radiotherapy, acute infection at injection site, and also vascular abnormality at operation site. Now let's move on advantages. There is simple technique, there is minimal equipment, transportable, minimal contraindications, Hemorrhage could be controlled by vasoconstrictor composition that I already mentioned in a, in a slide of composition of local anesthetic solutions. No airway impairment, minimal post-operative post care, duration could be controlled, and cooperative patients simplify the work. Now let's check disadvantages of, of them. First one is difficult to achieve cooperation. Second one is mechanical obstruction by large tongue or limited mouth opening. Third one is failure due to anatomical variation or incomplete anesthesia. Also prolonged paresthesia. Spread of acute infection. Now I'm going to introduce most common solutions that we are take consider to use in daily dental procedures. First solution is lidocaine. Two percent lidocaine with one to one hundred thousand epinephrine. This is normally should be highlighted and marked with red color, and this is most commonly used anesthesia for intraoral injections, and it has good efficacy. This is good choice for maxillary infiltration, nerve blocks, periodontal ligament, and other type of 
injection. And also this is safe for use during pregnancy. Now, the second solution is articaine, 4% articaine with 1 to 100,000 epinephrine. Normally should be marked with gold color. It has great ability to diffuse which make it more optimal for mandibular infiltrations and can be used for inferior alveolar nerve blood but in some research suggests the potential for increased risk of parasthesia. The third solution which is called bupivacaine 0.5% bupivacaine with 1 to 100,000 epinephrine and normally should be marked with blue color. It is great for use before or after extraction and other surgery to help with post op pain management due to its long duration. The fourth solution and last one which is called mepivacaine, 3% mepivacaine plain and usually and normally should be marked with tan color. This is good choice for injection around an abscess due to its higher pH. So in case of abscess drainage, we can use this type of solution. And best anesthesia for patients with heart conditions were limited to epinephrine is recommended. Thank you so much everyone. That was the video about the local anesthetic solutions. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you so much.